Welcome everyone. This is one of Playmobil's large ninja sets. This is one of the two castles you can get. This is 5480. Uh, there's 102 pieces to it. You get quite a few cool items here. Um, including a lighted dragon figure, which I don't have available right now. I do, I have kept this. I do get rid of the figures and the other items because they are your typical retarded zombie figures. Uh, these kind of things, which uh, is sad. They also give you another cool dragon here uh, figure. And they give you a, uh, did I mention that, a little dragon. This lights up when you press it, which is kind of cool. You've got, uh, of course, the shooting mechanism on the top here. And you get all these other weapons, and the castle itself is pretty cool. Let's spin it around and show the front here. Of course, they always have that very cool, well-done artwork. Here's what the castle looks like assembled, and we're going to show that to you. Uh, missing a lot of the accessories, which I get rid of because uh, with full impact uh, wargaming, you don't want a bunch of little stuff hanging around that could bang around. Here's that unique figure. They could pop around, hit you in the eye, etc. Um, a lot of that little stuff is pretty much a big waste anyway uh, for... I don't know if anybody plays with that, even children. That stuff tends to get lost. Here's the light-up uh, dragon you get, which is quite cool. I mean, it's a neat little figure, even though you can see it's not very well detailed. I'll show that to you sometime in the past and the future. Uh, here's the set right here, and of course, here's the bigger set. And this is a very expensive set, and it's very difficult to get now. It is out of print. So, um, they're not making this anymore as far as I'm concerned. I've seen these running you may be able to get this uh, if you look carefully, but I've seen this retailing now because it's difficult to find for over $300. Uh, you'll just have to see what you can get if you're interested in finding out a price. And we'll show you the actual physical unit next. Well, here's the built unit. Let me show you the one dragon I do still have accessible right at this time. The other ones are kind of in storage. So it's not very impressive, and I don't know why they make dragons so small. I just don't quite understand that, but um, this is one of the dragons. You get three, a lit up one, and um, another kind of cool one. So let's get this. Okay, so here's the actual uh, Japanese castle, which... I've always found exciting the Shogun's castles and so forth. I've been to Japan. I've seen one of the major Shogun castles there. Of course, this ain't nothing like it, but uh, this is certainly fun design. I've always liked the Oriental design in general. Um, it's a very... It has all these little features um, where the rocks kind of sit on the sides here. We're missing one over here, which I removed. Um, you have this drawbridge. This actually is a drawbridge that controls this. I took the string off of it. Um, so you have this big drawbridge here, and you have a lot of space underneath uh, to place certain items in. And there's, of course, other access to that. Let's spin this around. This has another door access. Um, and you've got another one on the other side. Um, Playmobil loves their torches everywhere. We have torches on the side here. And I generally remove these because they do get... They just kind of fall off and get lost if you're moving stuff around. But again, these can kind of break off and if you're shooting at it with full impact uh, wargaming like I do, um, or you're having something attack it, well, those things can bounce off and just become a nuisance. The little things like that, um, I've left them on because it kind of looks cool here, but in general, uh, you just don't need that. They love the torches. They put them everywhere. Uh, now, you can push these in like I just did, uh, and sometimes uh, they really stick so that uh, they don't pop out too easy. But, and that's, of course, what you want to do uh, so you can hold them in there. 
Now, these are not torches. These are actual shooters that go on the top of the... Um, those are bolts you shoot, but it's a good place to hold them, particularly if you don't want to lose them. Because on top here is where the... Uh, which is a cool and good place to put a crossbow um, to defend the castle with. And this just goes in here... I can get it at a distance and just kind of clips in. It doesn't stay in too well, so uh, there can be a problem. Now, this is where the bolts come in, and the bolts uh, fit in here. And, of course, these have rubber tips on them, and um, so they're about as safe as you can get. These don't fire too much. Let me see what it looks at. We'll fire right at the camera. Um, so they're mediocre in uh, power, but... Uh, and I'm sure you could probably open these up which, and modify them or put something else up there that has a little more kick to it. But you can see here the design is really cool. Um, that very, that's the reason I got it, was to get some sort of oriental castle. And these are not easy to find. I mean, you can find the European castles just about every place. But you can't find um, alternative castles. I've recently seen something that was... Uh, Romanian castle uh, for Vlad, if you want to use that, kind of a more primitive castle, uh, but very interesting. They had Tepish, the famous Christian hero who protected Europe from the Islamic hordes um, who were invading Europe. But you can see how that's a nice, all the way around, you can see how this is a nice... Um, Oriental-style castle, and you just can't find these out there. And I, I don't know if this was popular or not, because they are not making it any longer. And, of course, as usual, I don't use a bunch of stickers or anything. Here's the... Uh, and, of course, these are the problems that you have to make sure you glue things on um, as they easily come off when you're getting into full... Uh, full-impact wargaming. And, of course... Uh, we'll go into all that stuff. I haven't used that with that, so I haven't glued certain areas. Well, some of these things need to be glued together. Now, let's look at the inside, which is kind of cool, where you can put different figures. Let me get a, um, a cool figure. Now, these are cool figures. This is one of those Aikido fighting figures you can put in there. But there are lots of figures of different sizes. You certainly can use uh, traditional... Uh, three-inch figures in here without a problem, you know, Star Wars, uh, G.I. Joe sizes, but there's lots of other figures that work as well, and here's one of them, and of course, it's cool looking. Why would I possibly use a retarded zombie figure that Playmobil makes? Uh, so here's the inside of these, and um, as I said, the you have the drawbridge that uh, is, uh, you can see how that is connected to the drawbridge to pull it up. Um, if you want to connect it to that, again, I find that is something as worthless for my uh, interests. And then here's kind of a interesting little thing they did. I'm not sure why uh, why people like dropout floors and uh, so forth. But this is a floor panel and it has a. Can we see that? It's hard to see with my camera. When you move it here, it actually drops down from the top there. So that's one of those features which is interesting. Here's the inside. And you have places to shoot out from there and put men in there. This whole area here is pretty big if you want to put uh, figures in there. Uh, man, manning the actual walls and so forth. Here we go. So all these kind of areas in here are great to put uh, figures in. I mean, you could even put... Uh, now, these are big enough that, uh, to a point, you could also use Masters of the Universe figures, which seem to be popular right now. Um, to you. I mean, these openings are pretty, pretty big. But... Um, now let's let's show that as well here. Let's spin it around again. You can see how some of this stuff over time, as we said, tends not to stick in well. So just by grabbing this and moving it, um, it opened up, unfortunately. 
or pulls off, I should say. But you can see how this is a pretty big opening. Uh, so you're talking about quite a sizable opening um, for uh, multi different figures that you could put in there. Um, I'm looking to see if I can find, here we go, a measuring tape. Here's a measuring tape. I mean, here's the size of uh, it's about the height. What are they? About five and a half, six inches. So, I mean, you could use that with this castle. It's got this cool swords over the top here. It's lots of little features, which are always nice that uh, Playmobil tends to do. And it's um, the actual bricks on this and everything else. I think this is nicer than most European castles that they sell. They put more uh, detail into this, which makes it more attractive. Of course, you've got this tower here. Um, you've got also um, these cool dragons on the side for decorations. You've got all the little things here, as I've mentioned. So it's a quite cool castle, and as you said, it's very difficult to find any kind of Asian castles as far as I know. There are some wargaming uh, that have uh, castles and so forth. But this is pretty rare. It's hard to get. It runs in the hundreds of dollars. If you can find one inexpensive, I would grab it. Um, but you can't uh, get it. As you said, I think this retails online at Amazon in Europe uh, for $300. They're not making these anymore. And while you can get them, uh, at least in Europe, um, they are very expensive. And as I said, you have this. So you have a lot of space inside here uh, to put all sorts of things in, depending on what you want to put in there. And as I said, your main shooter, and they only have one, which is kind of interesting, is on the, uh, your main shooter is on the top there, which is kind of, and there's only one, and you get two bolts, darts, whatever you want to call them, which I have kind of uh, pushed into the sides there. Um, as we demonstrated. So uh, it would be nice if there's further, but I mean, there's lots of room to hook up all sorts of shooting devices to here. So, and that's what we try and tell people, you know, uh, customize your stuff. Uh, here's the um, dragon catapult. And of course this goes with the set. Now it doesn't come with it, but I think it's part of the dragon set where you shoot that. Now, um, this is too big to actually go inside, but I mean, you can take the wings off of this as well and put it, but it'd be hard to shoot from the back side there, but you could uh, have this kind of in here uh, as part of what you're doing. And then of course, when attack comes, you pull it out um, and so forth. So, I mean, there's lots of, of course, and that's one of the many things you can figure out uh, on your own. But, you know, full contact wargaming is quite different uh, as it is just what it sounds like. You're actually using as many catapults, cannons, and other things you can, airsoft guns, um, rubber band guns in particular. All of these are used in full contact wargaming as well as uh, the more intellectual pursuits of uh, figures on the ground that you use some dice with. Um, still, it's those areas people should know about, but it's very different because every single weapon or tool that you use like this come under restrictions, how to get them, how it's used, and how you score points with them. So it's um, a very interesting and I think brings uh, wargaming up to a much more exciting level. I mean, there's nothing worse than watching wargamings at some uh, gathering where people are doing Napoleonic figures and they're just pushing the little things together. And of course, they have all these cool little figures, but it's very boring and it really gets down to dice. Uh, while uh, full impact wargaming gets down to your ability to properly use weapons, and these these um, actual tools will uh, or what you do with your wargaming will actually be usable in real life because you'll be much better at using and aiming bows, arrow, bows and arrows types of things, as well as many forms of firearms 
So this is a great way to practice indoors shooting when you cannot go outside uh, for one reason or another. So it keeps your shooting skills uh, up to a high level, so it's very practical there. And any kind of hand-eye coordination or shooting type game. So it's um, very exciting in that aspect, uh, the new Full Impact Wargaming. But this is a very cool set. And if anybody knows of any Oriental... Um, type castles that are available out there, uh, do let me know. I do find uh, this style very cool and interesting. And it is so big, as I said, it's very difficult unless I take this off my tripod and move far away to get the full view of this um, actual Shogun's castle. And again, this is 5480 from the Dragon line of Playmobil. And uh, I'm sure you'll find it a great addition to your wargaming in general. More to come.